Good evening, everyone. Tonight we're going to be opening up this Pokemon Brilliant Stars Booster Box. Constellations align in a show of force. I believe this is the first set that they're creating these V Star cards. So hopefully we get lucky enough to pull a few. So let's start with this right pile with this Charizard pack. Of course, we're definitely looking to pull at least one of these Charizards. There's a couple in this set. I think there's four cards in total of Charizard. First energy is water. This looks like a new energy card design. Kind of like a galaxy explosion happening in the background. Okay, first trainer item is a fresh water set. Little six pack of mini water bottles. Then we have a star me, which is washed up on shore. Weavile. Looks like he's DJing. Cup chew.
jinx playing and chasing with this star tail Farfetch, this really interesting art style very um, colorful and kind of a lot happening different streaks of color red ground little onions right here in the ground a little hut in the background circle of executes a grimer oh okay so we got one of the uh, trainer gallery cards these are a special subset you could see on the bottom TG 24 TG out of 30 right there so this is just a special subset in Brilliant Stars of Trainer Card. So this is a Cerulis Premonition. Your opponent reveals their hand and you draw a card for each trainer card you find there. Very cool. Looks like she's just sitting there having her premonition. And then we have a Wormadam non-hollow as our rare card. It's a very pretty card. If I turn it up to the light, you can see all those nice colors. Second pack. They change the trainer cards, I noticed. I think with the last set, they changed them. You could see they're quite different. I think they still spoil if it's a rare or not rare in your pack, but I do like the new design. It's different. Oh, look at that. Interesting. I guess they're giving you a couple of different cards in the energy spot. We got this V Star card. Cool. Okay. So, the first card in this pack is Magma Basin. A bunch of lava falling into this. A uh, hole in the ground. You can see a little Pokeball symbol down there. Crawdont. A collapsed stadium. Some type of relic. The past. Purloin. A little Jigglypuff in the back. Or just, no, that's Clefairy. Little Clefairy doll in the back. A Duskull wandering about in the dark of night. Sneeze all in front of the full moon. Corfish emerging from a log. Beautiful art on the magma here. It's really shooting out bright red flames and uh, Snowy forest, probably heating himself up a little bit, maybe melting some of the snow. You 
see a planet up in the sky in the background and some other clouds of flame even up in the sky. Reverse hollow is Charon's care. It says, put one of your Pokemon that has any damage counters on it and all attached cards into your hand. Little, I guess, it'd be nice if you have a Pokemon that's quite damaged. You can hide them away before they get knocked out. And then our rare card is this Lapras. A deep underwater, maybe actually near a coral reef. You can see some corals down here in the bottom. Pack number three with this shaman on the front. That same sort of galaxy explosion effect happening in the background with stars. It's very cool. Okay, our first card is a Tropius flying through the forest. And then Morgrim. Then Claydol. Looks like ladles and a ring of fire there. A pair of gullets marching through the forest together. Chime show. Simple art style there. And then a chimchar with a bunch of fruits. Nab nab berries, pineapple berries. And a Mancino. Looks like helping out with the cleaning, dusting off that lamp. I'm noticing a lot of star imagery in some of these arts. It's a little star charm on the bottom of the pole chain to turn on the lamp. And ball toy doing a little meditation in the evening. Looks like a meteor shower is happening behind him. Then our reverse hollow is Clink. And our rare is another one of these Lapras's. Fourth pack of another Shaman. Lightning energy. 
another magma basin. Crawdont. Looks like he's in a little bit of a stream there. Another collapsed stadium. Grimer. On her face, reaching for something. He must be. He's in a. Looks like some type of rock landscape in the background. I like these muted colors. It suits him. There's our Shinx again playing. Surrounded by a bunch of little flowers floating. And Badoof. His trainer's in the background there. Badoof standing very proudly upon a little pedestal of grass. Electabuzz enjoying a very dangerous lightning storm. Maybe he's causing it. And our favorite wrestling bird, Halucha. Our reverse hollow is an ice cube. Looks like kicking out some ice cubes. A lot of chaotic action happening in this heart. Little stars, little action marks. Fusion strike ice cube. Oh, and then our rare is a haunch crow V. What a fantastic art. I love this. Showing quite a good view of haunch crow standing on the top of the canopy of a forest. Has a nice perch there for himself. Lots of room to look around. Plan his next attacks. Boss's pockets and fearsome shadow. Hunchgro has an amazing hat. He almost looks like a private eye. He's uh, keeping a very watchful eye out to what's happening around him. This one is number 162172. This looks like one of those alternate hearts. Not quite sure though, I haven't done a lot of research. I like to go into these videos blind because I like to see the art for the first time with you guys. Okay, I believe this is pack number five. Another Charizard pack. First psychic energy, energy card, and a choice belt. Looks like that belt has a button on it, maybe. Let's see, the attacks of this Pokemon do 30 more damage, so looks like the belt either gives the wearer a bit of energy or maybe has a little secret attack underneath it. Beautiful Fibrava art. Love that. Colors. Not really sure what materials were used. Maybe some type of pastels. Chalks. And I love that swirliness. Almost like Fibrava's in a cocoon of sorts with the rocks around it. And Staravia soaring through the sky above something. There's a 
older gentleman on the ground there. I see maybe a Pokemon Center in the back. Now, oh, one of my favorite Pokemons. I love Dayton So cute. Looks like he's in a city and he's uh, doing a little attack there. Charging up a little bit of energy. Blue and yellow colors. Uh, yellow creamish colors in the back. Farfetch'd and same beautiful art again. Duskull. Our little Grimer. Gooey Grimer. Shinx. Perline. Reverse Hollow. Yep. And then we got the Mimikyu V card. So this Mimikyu almost looks like he's uh, he's on like an American flag. I see those red and whitish stripes and the blue with little dots in the background. I don't think that was the intent. Looks like he's on some type of boardwalk. And he has a dummy doll and jealous eyes. It's almost like a realistic depiction of Mimikyu. The art almost has like a flesh-like appearance to it around the ears. Dummy doll and jealous eyes. This one is number 68 out of 172. count. I think pack number six. Unopened packs of a nice tapping sun to them. Kind of a slightly hollow, hollow sound. I'm very grateful that the code cards aren't uh, spoiling the um, the rare because in past sets the number on the code card would always spoil whether you got a hollow rare or a just regular rare but it doesn't seem like these code cards have that um, that number format. Okay. Kindler. Kindler is uh, tending to the flyer there. He's got a very thick poke stick. And Ultra Ball. Looks like it's just bursting open. Pokemon's about to pop out. And hit him on top. Nice basic art style. Looks like he's doing a little bit of a break dancing maneuver. Gibble in the city, or hmm. no, it looks like he's at a construction site. I see a, some type of equipment in the back, some big structural supports holding something up. Wonder if he's helping or just enjoying the sights and scenes. Turtwig splashing about in a little waterfall pond. Trapinch 
in the sandy area. Piplup looks like he's made like a tiny little snow critter there. I can't tell what it is. Maybe he made himself in snow form. Just like a tiny little snow piplup. Then we have a shroomish. A double on the back, I think, or something like that. Looks like they're in a park. I see a little bench. And one of those reverse hollow clay dolls. And then for the rear, we got a Staraptor scooping out the landscape, flying high above it, looking down, maybe looking for some prey to hunt. Okay, then we have pack number seven. another Kenler. He must be cooking something because he's wearing like a cooking apron. And then another Ultra Ball. Looks like a little bit of a repeat of the last pack. They have on top. And on top maybe was practicing with these trees in the back there because they have some, maybe some damage to them. Okay, a milkery. Milkery is playing in some autumn leaves, looks like. Cub chew. A little bit of an abstract art. Probably sliding down some type of snowy hill. A Dayton are fetched. Our Duskull. Duskull must be looking for somebody as his hand on his head, so he's peering into the gloom. Morgrim. Doing quite a cool maneuver, standing on his front hands and arching his back like a scorpion. And then our rare is this Hollow Moltres. Beautiful card. A very realistic art style. Lots of flames coming out of Moltres. Using his Inferno Wings attack. You can see the attack is arching over his head. Very cool. Very glassy, mirror-like hollow on this card. Okay, I believe we're going on to back number eight. Another one of these puffy ones got.
first little leaf energy, I think. Another magma basin Crawdont Crawdont is fitting for this set because he has that big star right on his forehead Ultra Ball Carablast Carablast is like a little Bug seed Pokemon. He's hanging out in that little hollow of a tree, looking out. Ah, uh, there's a little Clefairy come to life. Imagine she's on an island vacation, just looking out, having a good time. Cherubi. On a uh, branch of a tree, beautiful, sketchy little background, very faded, with a lot of texture, so I like that. Oh, this is quite different art style. I love this sock. Looks like he's on a uh, desert mountainous desert and he's taking some very powerful steps through the desert. It's either dawn or dusk. The clouds are breezing through the sky up top. He's preparing to do his sweep the leg attack. Mm, our little core fish. And our reverse hollow sigilith. Glowing very vibrantly up in the mountainous desert sky. And our rare is an Empoleon hollow. Splashing through a bit of water, maybe a frozen water. He's got that very cool trident like face. He's a, must be a colleague or a servant of Neptune. At least like how Napoleon. Napoleon has uh, like a suit on design of those uh, collars, those bibs of old suits. And he has emergency surfacing and water arrow. This is pack number nine, so we are, after this pack, a quarter of the way through. Okay, our first card is Cynthia's Ambition. Looks like she is in the spotlight, very strong shadow behind her. It's very mysterious, Cynthia. Jaren Scare again. Oh, I have a pottery, so sitting out in front of a house in the front of the lawn in front of a pole it looks like it's holding a little berry or a little fruit or something very joyfully 
a grimer. Sneasel. Sour Badoof again. Electabuzz, lightning storm Electabuzz. Ah, oh, I see he's creating a thunder wave up in the sky. Oh, Chime Cho. Reverse Hollow Boss's Orders. Looks like bosses right there in a downtown high-rise, surrounded by windows, very sinister lair, and the full moon, a lot of full moon cards in this set, and our rear is a Samacenta V, this is number 105-172, very shiny Samacenta, not shiny as in you know, shiny, shiny, but it looks like he's glistening, his armor is just glittering in the light. And he's looking down very proudly. His regal stance, definitely very regal looking, and a revenge blast. new card we haven't seen yet is a beer tech. A very frigid landscape, very pointy piece of ice jutting out in the middle of a blizzard it looks like. Very striking image. All right, Roseanne's back up. Looks like she's in her little laboratory, little books surrounding her. She's giving him an option right there. Choose one or more. Our lovely carefree floats all enjoying the water. Lots of little water plants by um, probably hunting for little mussels in the deeps of a river or sea. Looks like because Floatzel is a sea otter, not a river otter. And we have our ball toy meditating. Snow runt walking through a very cold gray forest. Not much understory happening there, just a couple little sticks here and there. We have Nose Pass, a very red sun setting in the back, the desert. Our joyful Milkery. Our Cup Chew. The Rivers Hollow Shroomish in the park. And the rare is a Staraptor, another one of these Staraptors. Pack number 11.
this deal energy Cynthia's ambition Sharon's care Pachirisu Jar is very excited to eat that fruit. Uh, industrious Mincino. Boltoy. Summing some of those ancient ancient beings or ancient wisdom. You could see some type of writing or runic script underneath. Snow rent, nose pass. Oh, so we get our next uh, trainer gallery, trainer gallery card. It's a Flareon. Very beautiful. Love these bright yellow and orangey colors. Flareon and her trainer. Incandescent Awakening and Fire Man. Flare on looking very, very calm, very, very relaxed with her trainer there. So, her trainer gives her a little bit of affection. Beautiful. And her rare is an Electivire, non hollow. Very intense art there, lots going on. Electivire punching the ground very, very strongly and causing a massive blast. Is that a mag mortar in the back there too, maybe? Very intense battle happening here. I believe this is pack number Necessary. Beautiful, beautiful colors on this Alexio card. Very neon, bright pink, hot pink, electric yellows, electric blues. Very exciting, almost looks like Alexios underwater. We have our him on top. Mysterious impotimp up to some some mischief. We have her Stario. Looks like a CGI type of art. A tiny little rock pool. Riolu running away from something or running down a a boardwalk or a pier. You could see some little shops in the background. Starly, just hanging out up in that tree. Milkry, our Milkry again. Ah, oh, we got another one of these trainer galleries. This is Houndoom. With his trainer, this is a single strike on Doom. Looks like he's going in for a very powerful single strike. Why? 
mouth wide open, eyes very determined, and some type of energy coming out of his roar there, single strike roar. Almost fiery looking. And the rare is another electivire. Very nice, very nice art on there. Strainer's looking very confident, very relaxed, and very secure with his sound too. Leave. Lucky number 13. Another new card we haven't seen is this Monferno. Looks like he's in a spiral of fire. Doesn't seem worried about it. He's probably creating it. He's spinning around and around, going for maybe a flamethrower attack. Dust claps. In a very, very foggy forest. This little rock down here almost looks like a face. A very broad, sinister grin. Starmy. Our little Dedene. Cup chew. Dusko. Far-fetched. Execute. A river salo gullet, those marching gullets. And the rare is a magmortar. Aha, so that is a magmortar in the background of that electivire art. Because there he is right there down below. They must be working together. Very cool. Sending out a lot of intense fire with this flame punch. Or maybe it's the bolt explosion. Okay, this is number 14 now. Right, we have a chinchino looking very, very beautiful in the forest. Very, very glamorous, as always. Snowy, snowy forest. She's got a little bit of a cold blush on her cheeks. Cleansing gloves. Like mummy's gloves. Our 
little dust claps. Oh, big dust claps. How big is he? He's 5'3". He's pretty tall, pretty wide. Corfish. Gullet. Chime Chow. Chimchar. Minchino. A reverse hollow float soul. And another one of these mag mortars. Pack number 15. All of these packs have this little star burst thing coming on the top there. Just like a big bang on the top of the pack. Okay, we got Gloria in front of an adorable little cottage there. I love it. Our dust gloves. Sadarmi. Cheruby. Sock. Corfish. Gullet. Chime show. I wonder what these little lumps in the back are. They could be hills, but they little little too abstract looking to be hills, almost like there's a sea of Snorlaxes back there, maybe. Reverse Hollow Luxio. Love this art again. It looks even more beautiful with the Reverse Hollow effect. And then our rare is a Golurk. Big, big Golurk. Holding a big rock could be some type of artifact. See some symbols on it. Massive hands. He's nine foot two inches and very, very broad. Big shoulders. Big spikes on his shoulders, too. He has to be some type of ancient technology Pokemon with those spiral symbols on his arms. Number 16, I believe. I might have lost count, I'm not sure. Okay, we got another one of these V-Star cards. I was starting to wonder if these were quite rare, so 
since we only got one, but now we have two of them, so. Okay. And then we have a Sigalyph. Sigalyph is, um, using a bit of, uh, deception in his body design. Since he has an eye up here, which I believe is true eye, and then a couple of full eyes down here. Maybe Sigalyph has three eyes, and this is his third eye. That can interpret psychic, psychic phenomenon, probably. Marnie's pride. Looks like she's ready for some MMA fighting. Pachirisu. Sneasel. And a core fish doing a little scavenging or hunting. Magmar. And a Spiritomb. Spiritomb's in a cemetery, of course. Kind of a different type of cemetery, very exotic looking tombstones in the back and sarcophagi. Looking very spooky. Oh, a little set of Burmese hanging on to the tree. Just chit-chatting, making kissy faces to each other. Reverse hollow breloom. Very magical forest. A lot of little toadstools around. Little wood loving mushrooms growing at the base of those trees. Little cottons falling in the background. And then an El Creamy. Another very intricate art. Beautiful bush. A guy back there, maybe a shopkeeper. Looks like she might be in the mall. I see a little sign above her with a little, little text. Could be a little shop back there. She's doing a little shopping, or waiting for her trainer. Very cute. Number 16, I believe. We have another pair of gloves. These ones are hunting gloves. Made out of some type of leather material. With a bit of Sherpa lining for some warmth. There's our Vibrava. Ah, Cafe Master. I see, so... That's where El Creamy is. That could be her... Her trainer because she is a dessert Pokemon. Bell toy. Axew. Bunch of little globs of something. Maybe he's laying down, maybe he's sinking through a glob. Void. Interesting. Nose pass. Snow runt. Clink. There he is, that reverse hollow axio. Oh, you know what? 
he must be evolving. That's what's happening to him. He's entered into this totally new realm where he's evolving. Very nice. And then the Lux Ray, which is doesn't appear to be hollow. Could be hollow. This uh, background would probably suit it. Lux Ray is standing on a big rock serving the landscape. Beautiful red sunset happening in the background. Some electrical static or charges in the air. Could be number 17 now. First card is this double turbo energy, a couple little energy balls flying through space. Probo pass. Probo pass there with um looking a little suspicious down there at those duck heads. There's Prinplup riding that ice flow through the Arctic, going very are you? Carablast. Clefairy. Cheruby. Sock. Those two cards seem to go together. Reverse hollow clang. All right. And a flygon. Those big, big bug eyes. Sand spray, draconic impulse. Looks like he's sending a bunch of sand out at us. His little sands are moving quickly as they're blurred. Very cool. Very near face and very 3D effect. Those big eyes really stand out, and you could see his eyes back behind there in the hollow. It's a very good effect. They do always a good job at creating such a dynamic image with the holograph on top. Okay, should be number 18. Right. Looks like a 3D looking gabite there. Standing in some type of forest. Torkoal is sending out some sand from his nose. Steam. Sandy steam. He looks very large in this uh, rendering of him. Looks like he could be the size of a mountain. 
the size of like the Sphinx in Egypt. Our double turbo energy. Spiritum. Purloin. Milkery. Shinks. Impidimp. A reverse hollow flygon, which is a rare card, similar to the the uh, ultra rare card. But I like this tense streak right there. Blasting wind or desert desert pillar. And then our rare is that breloom again. Okay, so I'm going to shuffle our remainder of packs together. Another V-Star. Okay, we have that Probo Pass again. Brin Plup. Cinchino. Or Cinchino. I love that. Ah, she must be ice skating because she has a triple axle. Has her ability. Very fitting for the recent Olympics. Golat. Oh, we have a cast form. Looks like just a regular form of cast form. He's uh, seeing a lot of different weather possibilities. Kind of a cloudy, gloomy side and a sunny, gloomy side. Doesn't look very cheery on the left there, either. Jim Char. Ball Toy. Axew. Reverse Hollow Snow Runt. And... A Simsir, number 27172, <sighs> throwing out quite a bit of flames and spiraling up a little bit of energy in this card, bursting with power, or flare juggling, maybe a little bit of both. Looks to be very happy doing it, maybe just having a little practice session rather than in the middle of a battle. Looks a little gloomy and cloudy in the background though. Might be raining soon. So be careful. Very cool. Okay. 
16 packs left. Fairy Bidoof Electabuzz Howlucha Buisol Sliding down a little bit of a ramp there Very Greek looking homes in the background A reverse holotropius and then a tradigan. Tradigan and a little bit of a cave or maybe it's inside of like a temple with some little bit of sun casting on it. He's gonna curl down for a nap in the sun. Fifteen packs left. We have our mummy gloves again. Dusclops. Beer tick. Really enjoy this. This art. It's um very graphic, very clean looking. Nose pass, snow runt, clink, Daydane, cup chew, a reverse holler as cavalier. He's really going after that rock. Pierced his blade right into that and it didn't even break. He must have a very, very strong sword. And then, oh guys, we got the Charizard V. This is 151, 172. Beautiful artwork. He's in a battle with Venusaur in the back there. Venusaur is using what looks to be one of its fine attacks at Charizard, but Charizard's ready for it. Confident, maybe a little spar, not too serious, maybe they're just having fun together. Incinerate and Heat Blast. Love, love, love this heart. Very action-packed and interesting. A little bit of a detail and the little sparks coming up off the tail. Beautiful. Really glad we got one of the Charizards. Definitely worth the wait. 
These cards are always worth a lot. Everyone loves Charizard. It's a great representative of Pokemon. Fantastic. Could see even more of that beautiful aloe. Right, there we have Gloria again. Staravia. Barry. Draw three cards. Oh, Barry's in the forest, just searching, probably hunting Pokemon. Gibble. Trapinch. Cast form. Throw. Looks like he's about to throw that tree. He has his, uh, his belt wrapped around it. And he's got a firm grip. He's about to rip it out of the ground entirely. Shroomish. Reverse hollow Monferno. And Cliff Fable. So light, so airy that she's able to just prance across that pond. Beautiful. Tiny little droplets following her. To 13, I think. All right, Roseanne. Well, lots of options there. Fulotzel. Choice Belt. Duskull. Farfetched. Execute Grammar Sneasel Reverse Hollow Pacharisu and a rare hollow infernate. Beautiful, lovely swirl of fire around him. He's got his, his hair is fired up and flaming out of the top of his head. He's looking, he's looking very determined. Yes, he's doing his infernal vortex. Looks like it's almost a kick attack. He has his leg little bit farther back. So he's charging up. 
Maybe a little burning kick too in there. Great. Woof. Loving this hollow, mirror-like hollow. Sky looks like it's glowing. Beautiful. All right. Twelve and left, I think. I think I lost the code card. Here it is. Okay, clang and some water. Torkoal. Double turbo energy. Piplup. Turtwig. Sneasel. Clink. Spiritomb. Oh, reverse hollow moth in front of a, either a home or some type of uh, sanctuary, maybe. Flying through the forest, so the broad daylight. And a muck. Ooh, muck is in a, probably a trash heap, a junkyard. Gloomy junkyard. I see some TVs in the background, some tires, other electronics. He's scooping up a bunch of his sludge, doing a little swirl with it up. Or maybe he's gonna slam it down like a fist. Be careful. I'm sure Muck is an amazing junkyard guardian. Eleven left. There's our Fibrava, Staravia, Monferno, Bidoof, Electabuzz, Chime Cho, Gibble, Twig Reverse Hollow Clink Clang Creating a big big explosion back there. Look at that. Could be gear wall, it could be tumbling attack. Maybe he's doing like a spin, generating a bunch of energy. And then in a light bar. Looks like Lipard is 
channeling her inner Catwoman. She's out late at night on top of the buildings, looking down, looking for any trouble or mischief, ready to jump in and slash anybody who's causing, causing problems. Love this art. I wish it was a hollow. It would be perfect. Beautiful perspective with the big buildings in the back bright, large, full moon. Okay, I have ten left. Here we go, we got a new one. This is a grotto. He has a ton of beautiful foliage growing out of his shell because it's sun drenched. Gets a lot of sun, a lot of things can grow out of it. There's a tropius. Torkoal. Axiom Impidimp Magmar Riolu Running away from something Little Burmese Ah, oh, we got the Vaporeon trainer's, uh, trainer's card, Torrential Awakening, and Aurora Beam, and a lovely little forested pond. Vaporeon's like a mermaid, swimming, or maybe like a nymph, ready to uh, capture any unsuspecting purpose person who wanders towards her pond. Maybe she's just enjoying a nice dip. Incredible artwork on all of these trainer cards. They really went um, above and beyond to, to print some great, great pieces vibrant, lots of different colors if you change the angle of the card to the light. Okay, and then, ooh, a hollow supporter card, Professor's Research. Doing a little bit of research in his uh, study there. He's got a little library of books back there. Discard your hand and draw seven cards. Very, very helpful. Okay. Right. Nine left. Another Gloria, Starmy, a freshwater set, some type of mountain branded water, 
half inch paper up shroom mesh purloin dust skull the reverse hollow labrys and Mewtwo Oh, this isn't hollow. What a great color scheme though. That bright, bright bluish green background you contrasted with the lavender color of Mewtwo. Really powering up the fist, creating a lot of energy right there. Or even sucking life out to life suck. Or preparing for a cyburn attack. Nice. Okay. Eight left now. Here's our clay doll. Acerola's Premonition. The regular version of this card. Pot Helmet. That might give a little bit of protection against attacks, so probably not too much. But I guess this says you take 30 less damage, so it must be pretty, pretty heavy duty pot. Weasel Gibble Trap Inch Execute Starly A Reverse Hollow Mountain Springs Water and a tornadoes. <sighs> Love that. I don't know if Garbage Patch Kids is coming to mind with this this art. I'm not very familiar with Garbage Patch Kids, so, but I get that. Very like arcade game 2D looking style. Really, really like it. And down to seven. It always goes by so quickly. Executor, sitting in the water on the beach, just enjoying himself or their self. Friends and gal are all the ladies there together. Weavile, Shroomish. Dirtwick, Mingino, Carablast, Star 
belly, reverse hollow. And then, boss's orders, hollow. Nice, so we got the reverse hollow boss's orders before, but now we have the hollow version. Love that perfect hollow for this card. Really makes that night sky come to life. Purple colors, purple and blue. Alright, six left. Here's our float soul. Sigalif. Pachirisu. Spiritum. Burmy. Impidim. Staryu, Riolu, Reverse Hollow Crimer, and a Wormadam. Another Pokemon hanging out in a tree. Just got a little bit more puffy from the Burmy evolution, but still hanging out in the tree. Takes a lot of work to become a big Pokemon. Great. Five left. Alright, we got Fracture in the savannah, our big field. Doing a Naruto run through that field. Team Yells Cheer. Definitely a big group there. You can see a bunch of people in the background too. Marnie's Pride. Puisol. Halucha. Thoreau. Magmar. Staryu. Reverse Hollow Cafe Master and a Heat Ran. More lightning strikes happening in this one, too. Heat Ran looks like he's on a volcanic mountain. Probably sucking up all that energy. Making a lot of energy to create more steel and more iron. It's a good place to be for him. Alright, so we are... We're down to four. I'll do just a little shuffling.
Grottle, Berry, Clang, Burmese, Sock, Cheruby, Riolu, Starly. Oh my goodness, look at this card. I guess, yeah, this is one of the trainer cards. How vibrant. So much happening here. Oranguru. Looks like Oranguru's trainer is a one of those fan life people. See, like, fan in the background with hammock set up, all relaxing, and Oranger is fanning itself with its uh, fan there. We have coffee and tea and a nice spread down below with a little lantern and tons of little decorations and fun things. Uh, lovely, lovely card. Okay. And then an ice cube. Fusion Strike. Brava in this third to last pack. Tropius. Clay Doll. Mincino. Ball Toy. Snorunt. Nose Pass. Daydane. A reverse hollow Wormadam and a Dusk Noir. Look at that intricate hollow design on there. They included hollow on the Dusk Noir's uh, psychic energy ball there. Maybe it's doing a special transfer. Very, very dark and gloomy forest. Without the hollow, it would be almost hard to see what's happening in the art. Because when you lean the card back, you get to see a lot of more details. Very, very detailed hollow. Probably one of the most detailed ones in this, uh, in this set. Second to last pack. Okay, Magma Basin, Crawdont, Ultra Ball, Sock, Corefish, Golat, Chime Chow, 
Jim Jar, Reverse Hollow Tornadoes, and wow, the Rainbow Rare Shaman V Star. Interesting, the coloring makes Shaman look almost like a ghoulish version of Shaman. Gray and uh, ghostly a little bit. Green lips like something almost undead. Red eyes. Spooky card with revenge blast and star bloom. <sighs> cool, cool card. Always love Shaman. And I do like this, uh, this version of Shaman they've come out with. Much more... Um, much more active version of Shaman. Okay. Last pack. Like I said, these openings go by too quickly. It's just too much fun. Alright, let's see what we get. Choice Belt, Alexio, Hitman Top, Starly, Milkery, Carablast, Clefairy, Ruby Reverse Hollow Marnie's Pride and oh awesome we ended up getting the Arceus Arceus was the I believe main mascot of this set love the contrast of this card bright white and gold Arceus against this very dark night backdrop. You could see a galaxy in the background, a jutting spire up into the sky, the bright, bright full moon sending rays of power down upon Arceus. A perfect way to end this box, I think. Okay, you guys, thank you for watching. What a fantastic box. I'm very, very happy with the polls, and I hope you enjoyed it just as much as I did. So, good night.